if and ifs functions in Google Sheets. Let's talk about the difference today. Hey, my name is Gala. I'm a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. On my website, you can find a lot of tutorials for Looker Studio and Google Sheets. And also I have some nice templates for marketing in Looker Studio available for sale. But let's go back to Google Sheets. I have my template like tutorial Google Sheet. I think I like this revenue page. Let's duplicate it and I will call it like ifs. Let's observe what do we have. We have if function. If function looks like that. We have logical expression. Uh, what happened if it is true and what happens if it is false. For example, logical expression can be um, cell C3 equal new. It could be like this. And if it is true, it's 1. If it is false, it's 0. That's it. Also, it could be more complicated formula or it could be some more or less. Uh, we can, instead of C3 equal new, we can write a uh, word new here and we can say like this, if our C3 equal cell H2, we can do like this, so we can do links for, for both conditions. Um, and again, we can do if it is true, it is 1, if it is 0, it is, uh, if it is false, it's 0. Fine. Also, we can use this formula in a way when, for example, if revenue greater than 1000, it is 1 or 0. Again, so we can use different kind of formulas here in if condition. And uh, what happened if it is true and what happened if it is not true. Sometimes it's quite often case. Uh, when we have like several conditions, for example, we want to know if uh, C2 is new and revenue uh, greater than 1000. We can have two conditions and how can we deal with that? Uh, for this, we can use uh, several if functions one inside another like nested and this we will do if uh, let's make it a bit more complicated um, customer type and uh, minimum revenue that we're interested customer type for us is like new and returning and minimum revenue ten thousand for example uh, dollars so let's write our if function. If a logical expression um, C2 equal returning, then let's check another condition. And we can write one more if function inside of this one. And our second condition is revenue Grazer or equal, for example, uh, minimum revenue. And if we okay with these two conditions, we will write word good, for example. And if one of this condition doesn't work, or second condition doesn't work, we can write no, no. And we close our first if, so our first if function is finished. And in our second, fun second function, or oh, our first function actually, we have like C2 if it is equal returning that we go in here. If it is not equal returning, we can write new. I write it from the small letter that you can see it here. So we include one if function inside another. And we can see that this is, um, we are good with this first function. Okay, let's write something here like 550,000. Um, and we can block uh, this I2 
and J2 cells. When we add uh, dollar signs, we lock the cells. So if I extend this formula, these cells will be on the place. And if I copy it here, we can see that we have different different options here. Good if two conditions are good. New when uh, customer when when we don't pass the first condition. No when we don't pass the second condition. So and in this case, we can apply uh, a lot of conditions, uh, a, any number of conditions that you need. So in our case it's two, but it kind of instead of good here, we can write one more if and add, okay, if traffic source is page search, for example, we write one thing, if it is not, another thing. Oh, also we can add instead of like final result, we can add some formula. Uh, instead of good, for example, here we can say, we can write any formula. And do any calculations here. So this is what I use a lot. For example, if it is a new customer, we, mo we can move, divide it by, um, I don't know, if it is a, a returning customer, we can multiply by two, if it is new by three. So we can do like different kind of calculations that we need for our reports, our dashboards. So this is like, really weird example but it is as it is i think the idea you got the idea so you can add any formula here uh, and we can check any number of conditions and add any formula here uh, which other option do we have we can use we have and and all operators we can have and operators for example this is another funny think that we can use and how does it work if we use and because here we use if nested like several ifs in the same formula but we can do the same stuff like this we write if then we open and expression and here we uh, add several conditions our first condition c2 equal okay let's new and our second condition, revenue, grazer or equal minimum revenue. Then we close and, uh, and what happens if it is true, we write 10. And if it is false, we write zero. And we have zero because it is not new. Again, I can lock the cells. Oh, okay. Let's do 10. Yeah, so for new users, we can see 10 here. So um, the same. Actually, we have the same result as we had here. But here we have like several ifs in the same way. And here we can write and. And means that all conditions that we have here should be should be valid should be true all of them so it should be and customer type is new and total revenue rather than minimum revenue in this case it will work also we have or operator um, um, and it means all or means one of so if we use the same formula but we change and to or oh sorry uh, if we change and to or it will it means or customer type is new or revenue greater than 10 so this is what we, it is not the same as we have here. So and is, uh, we have this equivalent what we have here. And or it is when one of the condition is true. So if only one of condition is true, we already fine and we show true result. 
So that is nice thing about this is difference about and and or. I show you already several cases, one if, several ifs, and or, and we have ifs formula. Ifs formula, it is kind of uh, this stuff, but in a bit different way, in a different spelling. Here we can use several conditions. So in if, we have only one expression and ifs formula we can have like several stuff so we can if we use ifs formula we can say if it is uh, for example if revenue greater than 10000 greater or equal 10000 then good uh, then we can write several next condition it could be with the same sale if d2 if our revenue greater than 20000 it means great if d2 greater or equal um 50000 the best um so we write different conditions in one line and we have good because it's already so uh, here is a nice example uh, you see we already good with the first condition with 10,000 and we already use this good so uh, for uh, Google Sheets already don't go uh, uh, Google Sheets uh, doesn't go to second and third conditions that is why we received good so we should put the the biggest option we should put in the beginning of the formula then we put second option second option here and then the lowest option and if d2 uh 5000 or 4000 let's say then doubts i don't know like any i think in this case we have the best because our formula show we show from the biggest number to smallest one and we check okay if we are good with this yeah we pass this condition that we show this result if we don't pass this condition we show this result so it's kind of uh if we pass this condition we show this result but instead of no we use next if we can write actually this if function opposite way that I wrote it here and it will work the same way as the ifs function. And if we can apply it, copy paste it to other cells and uh, we see our results here. What for me is the biggest different difference between these approaches? Because actually you can use any of them and if you need a calculation in one cell, it will work for you perfectly any of this option just whatever you prefer but if we want to work with array arrays it will be a bit different scenario for example if we use array function and add this formula inside if formula inside and we can say we want to check C2, C10 and D2, D10. Uh, with with if function it will work and we can see result. Let's check with end function. So we have our end function and uh, let's add array formula and again just add several rows here and you see with and functions already doesn't work with array function array formula returns us only one uh, one result 
So if you want to apply formula automatically for the whole column, only if option will work. I can show you with or and ifs, uh, uh, but result will be the same. Uh, they are not working with arrays. I think this is only one uh, difference between uh, different approaches. So if you want, if you want to use formula only once, and for you it's okay to copy formula for each cell, you can use any of them. Um, depends on the task that you have. And if you want to apply formula for the whole column. Um, because you can apply it, you can remove 10 and apply it. We start from, okay, 14. 14 and we remove the last number and it will apply for the whole column, you see. So I write formula only once and it applies for the whole column. So this is really comfortable when you don't know if you will have new rows and um, you don't want to copy past formula every time and i think that is it i think it's a super nice topic um actually if you work with sql uh, in the query the logic will be the same more or less a part of this array stuff because it's only for google sheets in excel actually you don't we, you don't have a right formula you just write diapason interval um, i think that is it uh, we observed uh, if and or and ifs and several if in the same formula um we observed the difference we talked about the difference between them and i think that is it if you have questions you can ask me um, below this video don't forget to subscribe to my blog i have emails once per month and I have some nice templates for digital marketing that you can use and buy for real little money. And uh, um, <laughs> give a like to this video and subscribe for my YouTube channel. Hope to see you soon and bye bye.